Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Let's get to that news. Toon Link has officially been announced for Hyrule Warriors Legends. That's the version of Hyrule Warriors coming out for the 3DS, and this was a given. We already knew that Tetra and the King of Red Lions was going to be in it. Of course, Toon Link was going to be in it, but for whatever reason, they hadn't confirmed that until now. And now they're saying, yeah, there's going to be a lot of features uh, regarding Wind Waker stuff in Hyrule Warriors Legends, um, all kinds of locations uh, from Wind Waker, and then interestingly enough, we again anticipated this, but we've got confirmation that yes, they'll be able to transfer Toon Link from Hyrule Warriors Legends to regular Hyrule Warriors, so that'll be pretty cool to play as Toon Link in Hyrule Warriors. There are all kinds of other details if you want to check those out, there's a link for you down below. Our next story is about an interesting disconnect that can happen within a large company such as Nintendo, not just such as, in fact, Nintendo, where um, there was a fan translation going on of Mother 3 that would have been the sequel to Earthbound, and uh, because there was no official localization of that title ever released, and so these fans were translating it, and Nintendo Power, which of course is owned by Nintendo, but it's its own beast, basically. They're not really super involved with the inner workings of Nintendo. Um, so Nintendo Power heard about this and wanted to do a story on them. Now, this is interesting because, um, you know, Nintendo themselves would not be amused with a fan translation. Uh, they probably feel like if there's ever going to be a translation, it would be an official one, and there's a reason why there isn't, and so they're probably not too keen on fans doing fan translations, because you have to create patches to ROMs, and that's a whole kettle of fish. So in any case, um, Nintendo Power went ahead and did a story. They invited the fan translators to Nintendo Power, and actually in Nintendo headquarters, Nintendo of America, and sat down with them and did an interview. And these people were very worried because they're well aware of the legality issues of doing a fan translation. So they said that um, they went to the cafe in Nintendo and were eating, and then some other people from Nintendo of America, and not from Nintendo Power, said, oh hey, you're the guys doing the Mother 3 fan translation. We're really excited about it. And they were like, oh, wow, <laughs> Nintendo doesn't hate us. So. It's interesting because Nintendo as a whole company would be very displeased with it, but of course certain individuals with Nintendo can be very excited about fan things, so it's interesting. If you want to read more about that, it's quite an in-depth article. There's a link for you down below. That's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for more news. Bye guys.